a light elf statue in the desert. Ah. Aye. Herbert, this is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Eyn. <laughs> Light Elf architecture. It's massive. Locked. It requires two keys. What are they keeping back there? That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Knowing our luck, it'll be a bit of both. of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them up outside their dwellings, show their support for my brother.
Thimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Another of Cavassier's poems.
Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. <clears throat> Freya, here. A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now?
gone! A statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. contain their own light. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. Crystal shards, no. 
Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. In honor of the Enlightened One, may his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. Light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freyr's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. Freya was actually here. The peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. Perhaps we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim, or Midgard even. Becky and Svana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. You know, Freyr loved to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. I wonder, how'd these two pups end up yoked to the sled? Ever try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulon could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new uses for them once the sandstorm arrived. I imagine they're now bred to aid in traveling the surface. The second key. Sure enough. It's been a bit since we've unlocked a mysterious door. Excited, brother? <laughs> Classic. Oh!
white elf graves. An entire mausoleum. But why here and not in the temple? A fair question. With no clear answer. Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. If I don't have it, you don't need it. You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? Anything for Freya? Hope it's 
to your liking. Kratos? I am, as always, at your service.